Yeah. Not in the apple. So welcome guys, so it's your boy Gad. I'm Sling. For the past one hour, I've been trying as much as possible to learn that dance, that challenge by T Tom and UP. Twa uh Taswala Bam challenge and very very disrespectful to David O. Something just happened, guys. Something just happened. Really, 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 really disrespectful to our OBU. So, T Tom and UP, Usan, Taswala Bam, they are from South Africa. So, they recently reached out to OBU while OBU was in South Africa to do a remix on this particular song. And David Do delivered a remix. Very excited, David Do delivered a remix. Took his time to go to the studio to help them deliver a remix. But unfortunately, these people disrespected David Do badly. Well, David O de uh, delivered his verse, and that's David O dancing to the verse. But unfortunately, guys, <laughs> unfortunately, this guy decided to be disrespected towards David. You know what they did? They trashed David O's verse. OPO do verse, so now trash the verse, put for one corner. You know who they call Connest? They call Dubu. Oh, boy. They said to themselves, see, man, David O. Vars, no go move this song forward. David O. Vars, not trash. I'm just saying what they were thinking for them to trash David O.'s Vars. They trash David O. Vars. They be like, no, David O. Vars. No, 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 no. And then. They invited Bonner Boy to do their own verse, to do his own verse. And they immediately announced that Taswala Bam will be remixed by Odogo Bonner Boy and not Davido again. You see, that is where the disrespect comes from. If you are not sure about anything, why inviting Davido or did David do invited himself? You know, uh, we, there are some artists in Nigeria, they like to jump on every trendy song. I know some of all those artists, but I do not want to mention names. May I not mention names, they will talk to you, Adam, you are picking side. There are some artists in Nigeria that we know who love to jump on every trendy songs. So they might reach out to the musician and be like, you know what? Let's do this song. I would love to do a remix on this song. Artists usually do that, not only in Nigeria. Many artists abroad, when they like song, they usually reach out to the person and be like, man, that's your song. Bam! I want to do a remix. Please, let me do a remix. But it's left for that person to agree and agree to release that remix. Twasala Bam by T Tom and UP. Reach out to Bonner Boy, but we do not know if they reached out to David Do as well. But according to what I did, the research I did, I discovered that they also reached out to David Do also to do a remix. Not David Do reaching out to them. So waiting come upon after David Do did the remix and who decided to trash Davido's remix and then trash Davido verse and then bring in Bonner Boy. What are you trying to benefit from this? Of course, you know Nigeria will definitely hype on this on this trend. Nigeria will feel some certain ways. You know the challenges. You know the 
the competition between these artists. What are you trying to gain? Are you trying to gain by making the, doing that, using David Doe's name to trend? And meanwhile, you know quite well, you knew that you are not going to use David Doe's verse. You needed Bonaboy, but you wanted to use David Doe's name to trend. Based on David Doe is one of the most talked about uh, African entertainer. Want to use David Doe's name to trend by bringing in Bonaboy at the end. So that the music will bam more. Because most of you do not know about uh, Twa, Tas Wala Bam. We definitely, with this kind of news, we definitely want to go and play the song. We definitely want to go and play the song. The song is not, it's already everywhere. But why are you guys making such disrespectful remark? Hmm? You are mo moving in a very disrespectful way. In a very, very disrespectful way. So now, do Bona Boy go David do any form, any form of solidarity, any form of solidarity by 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 like should Bona Boy had have any form of respect for David do and not jump on that song? Knowing fully well that David Doe has already done a remix. Because Bonaboy would definitely understand. Somebody may have informed Bonaboy that David Doe had already do a remix for this song. And again, <laughs> be rest assured there. If you are, if you are featuring Bonaboy on that song, Bonaboy will turn that song to be his song. Remember, Jerusalem. In fact, Jerusalem, eh? we don't even know. People nowadays do not know who, who actually own Jerusalem. Jerusalem. After Bonaboy did the remix. Bonaboy be performing that song everywhere. And people are thinking that it's David's and Bonaboy's song. So be warned. If David do, do a if Bonaboy do a remix, that remix of Twa uh, Taswala Bam. Eh? That song will automatically turn to Bonaboy song. So be ready, guys. That song is already for Bonaboy. Hmm? Instead of if instead of shows to be calling you to come and perform, eh? To come and perform Taswala Bam internationally. Do you know who they're gonna be calling? Bonaboy. Bonaboy. So Bonaboy is a huge opportunity. Ah, David Do. I wouldn't say David Doe missed the opportunity, but the disrespect was too much. The disrespect was too much on David Doe's part. Those guys knew they weren't ready for David Doe's remix on that song, but they just used that guy's name. The person that they were targeting was Bonaboy. That song is one of the top songs on TikTok. And people will want to see them perform that song. And Bonaboy just took, just took that opportunity. And just like Jerusalem, Bonaboy also took that opportunity and made one of the biggest uh, uh, entertainer in the world. Well, it's music business. There are meant to be some disrespect coming with a music business, some betrayer. Some certain things, so it's that is music business, man. I saw it be so well. Uh, Taswala Bam will be remixed by Bonner Boy and David O. Vars has been trashed. Maybe they felt like the team was trash, I don't know, but that's just the latest now. It's disrespectful to uh, to Bonner Boy, but yet I do not think David, yeah, Bonner Boy, disrespectful to David O. But yet I do not think Bonner. Owns David do anything. Bonaboy do know who David do. Don't owe David do one thing. May Bonaboy call the reason and say, Kai, my guy already jumped to this song. Go, oh, I'm not supposed to. No, 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 no. <laughs> they no be friends like that. They no be friends like that. You know, they no be friends like that. Don't hold any form of uh, uh, loyalty to David do. So Bonaboy is doing the right thing, and David do was disrespected. And uh, according to Kiss Daniel, 
This was Kizdania's message to Two Face Dibia. Very, very respectful. Kizdania said, The journey no fit complete without a two baba collab. Official two baba, baba, let's set into the vocal board together. Mentor. Exactly. Anybody who knows, we know two baba, they are among those people may bring these blues. Nice song. So it's a mentor, so mentor to many, 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 many people. So Kizdania reaching out to two baba. That was really nice, you know. Reach out to your mentor. Don't be too big. Don't feel too big. There are some artists that feel too big. They don't want to reach out to that person. They look, uh, they look out. Uh, they were looking out to. Maybe because they are not bigger now, and that person that they call their mentor is not that pumping anymore. That's that they will be like, no, no, no. Go and reach out to that person, and do something with that person. Pay that person. You understand? Reach out. So, guys, uh, let's move past that. Thank you very much.